Yo, it's Jace, and let's get the show out in five minutes or less. Today on the Five Minute Podcast, my favorite 90s cartoon is coming back. Peekaboo! <laughs> this dog promises if you take him to the beach, he won't be miserable. He would literally be miserable. <laughs> A food critic has spent $20,000 on to-go food since the pandemic began, and a bar named after a slave trader changed its name to Ye Old Pubby McDrunk Face. All right, that's all on the way. First, our thoughts and prayers are with our friend Louis Valesio, lost his brother tragically yesterday in Honduras. Bro, our prayers are with you. Also, the apologies have started for the snafu that has been trying to get your money out of your pensions. The head man, Michael Anderson of the RF Group, took it on the chin with this statement. I'm sorry! I'm sorry! That's not the statement. On behalf of the management staff of the RF Group, I'd like to apologize to all for the pension plan participants. Yeah, lots of delays, bad conversion rates, and just tons of drama. I'm not sorry I took the money! They say they're working to correct the issue. <laughs> My favorite 90s cartoon is coming back. Yep, Mike Judge announced a new partnership with Comedy Central for a new season of Beavis and Butthead. We're going to be talking about the penis. <laughs> we'll be talking about the vagina. Slightly reimagined, Beavis and Butthead will probably be in more modern times. They haven't put a release date on it yet, but it is in the works. Mike Judge said it's time for the stupid again. This dog really wants to go to the beach. You would hate it. You would hate the beach. You would literally be miserable. Did you really just say, I won't be miserable? <laughs> Can we run that back, please? That dog just said, no, I won't be miserable. Take that dog to Seven Mile. All right, racist statues, monuments all coming down. Businesses even changing their names uh, happened to a pub in the UK uh, named after a slave trader. And I love that. That English sense of humor, man. The pub was actually named after Edward Colston, a, Brit a Bristol slave trader whose ships transported tens of thousands of slaves from Africa. But after anti-racism demonstrators um, toppled his statue in the city, the pub has temporarily changed its name to Ye Old Pubby McJunk Face, which perhaps better represents its patrons, I guess. Uh, the pub... Uh, has said, of course, this is only a temporary name awaiting better suggestions. I bet you it will stick. Yes, make it stick. Ye old pubby McDrunk face. That is the best name for a pub I've ever heard. All right, now that Cops has been canceled, did you ever notice that the Bad Boys reggae theme just didn't quite make sense? Eric Andre said this. Is it just me or is reggae the most inappropriate music they could have picked? <laughs> to open up the show, cops. You can't slap reggae over police brutality footage. Just my boots, you disenfranchised transgender prostitute. Bam! Jamaica is a Java girl island. Our national currency is the delicious coconuts. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, and as my mom finishes up her vacuuming, just in time for my podcast, uh, let's get to this guy who is after my own heart. 20000 bro? $20,000 he spent on to-go food since the pandemic started as he's been trying to get, like, a food critic blog going. Let me just say this. People probably are going, whoa, that's a lot of money. And it may be, but I'm a single guy, never married, no kids. I look at this as one semester of college education. So, And I want to do whatever I can. To make sure these guys are around in the long So run. the pandemic's been going March, April, May, June, it's July, four months. And if you've been ordering food via DoorDash or Grubhub, I see how you could spend twenty thousand dollars. All right, I'm off to smack some golf balls with my dad and move some furniture. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.